Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options coming to you with the morning market preparation video for May 1st, 2018. So it's May Day and we have a very exciting market. Um, <laughs> the market is um, really, really um, wound up tight right now. We, we had a Let's first let's take a look at yesterday's price action. Yesterday we had a, a gap up open. It looked like everything was uh, copacetic. Everything was gonna go good, but we gapped up. And let me show you a really quick 15 minute chart. Big gap up, and then sellers came in, bringing us right back down. Kind of a bummer, but that's what happened. And um, leaving behind bearish engulfing candles on the diamonds, the spiders and IWM. The Qs had already produced a pretty ugly failure pattern at the 50-day moving average, as you can see right here, at the downtrend and 50-day moving average, and yesterday followed through, leaving behind almost a, uh, well, well, it's just a failure pattern. Um, you know, some might look at that and, and call it almost like a uh, morning star type pattern failure right at the 50-day um, moving average. So where do we go from here? Well, the market is really, really focused on what possibly could happen here with Apple. Um, whoops. Apple reports today after the bell, and you can see we've, we've had some ugly selling here in Apple and, and it's largely been due to the fact that suppliers have said boy they've seen a dramatic reduction in orders for um, mobile chips and for mobile displays and that has obviously affected Apple here and Apple made a nice uh, pop yesterday but didn't hold on to that pop and this morning it's showing just a little bit of a um, gap up this morning right into that 200 day moving average which would be a normal pattern you know we we fail through an average and we rally back normally to test it and that that'll be the critical point will we be able to break through and hold or will it fail at that point and that's the big question um, out there right now. A lot of a lot of eyes are focused on Apple, waiting for uh, its report to find out whether or not we're actually going to see that decline in um, those mobile devices. And this tech behemoth has such a huge weighting to um, three of the three of the major indexes, the diamonds, the spiders, and the Qs. Obviously the Qs is the biggest weighting with not quite eleven percent weighting in the in the index. So suffice it to say if if Apple catches a cold, the rest of the market is going to um, probably be probably be susceptible to some illness. And we're gonna have to watch this very, very closely. Now Today, what does that mean for today? Well, as I look at, at the market this morning, we, we have about 260 companies reporting earnings this morning. And a lot of big companies, but I think by and large, the market is going to hold. It's going to be choppy. Um, we could see some follow through selling. But by and large, I think we're going to see a lot of choppy price action as the market waits on Apple. Um, Apple could uh, and does have the power to um, bring on a reversal. Um, a good, strong earnings report that surprises the market uh, could certainly reverse. And I would expect Wednesday to to be in Wednesday morning to be interesting. We could see Wednesday produce a sizable gap up or a sizable gap down. That makes it very difficult in in how we trade this uh, today. So watch that carefully. Um, we could see a lot of choppy um, 
indecisive, insipid price action uh, as the market kind of waits. Now, following Apple report, of course, is the FOMC announcement. And of course, you know, the market is always focused on the FOMC announcement. And as soon as Apple um, kind of gets out of the way after the bell today, market's attention will certainly be focused toward the, that FOMC and what they could possibly do. So keep that in mind. Wednesday could be a rather choppy day. We could see a pretty wild ride uh, over the next uh, couple of days. So watch that closely. It's it's going to be exciting. Um, for an inexperienced traders, it might be a good idea to just kind of stand aside and let this one pass because we could see intraday whipsaws. We can see very pr fast price action. We could see complete overnight reversals occur. Um, it might be um, the better part of valor to stand aside um, rather than fight this fight um, with so many unknowns uh, coming at us and such big unknowns coming at us all at once. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX, um, interestingly enough, you know, where we saw that selling coming in yesterday, the VIX really didn't respond much to the, to the upside. And it is still holding below this level right here of support, which is now resistance. So we could see this spike up. We could see this easily slip lower, but there wasn't a big reaction yesterday. So um, that kind of leads me to believe that we could see a little bit of choppiness today, a little bit of um, just uncertainty, knowing what's going to happen next. And uh, we could see the market wait. So kind of keep an eye on that. If we look at T21, 22, T21, 22, that four week new high, new low ratio, you can see that pulled us back yesterday. We're still, uh, you know, in this mid range uh and so anything is possible. We could certainly move up sharply. We have plenty of room to move down sharply. So we're in this mid range. There's not much T2121. T2122 is telling us other than we have the potential to go either direction. So a um, little bit of confusion um, when it comes to uh, this, uh, the four week new high, new low ratio. Let's take a look. Um, here at the earnings, I mean, the economic calendar. The economic calendar, we have several big reports um, this morning. We have PMI manufacturing um, at 9.45. We have the biggest number of the day, the ISM at 10 and construction spending also at 10. According to consensus, we're going to see PMI slightly pull back today. Um, ISM is, is expected to tick slightly um, slightly lower as well. Just kind of, well, actually almost standing pat, not going anywhere. And construction spending is expected to uh, bounce a little bit higher by about 5% um, today, uh, bouncing back from last month's kind of um, a weaker report so a little little bounce back there so nothing in the economic calendar that should really be a big surprise or really damage the market a lot we have a lot of earnings today the earnings calendar is chock full and we have a lot more earnings to come yet this week if we take a look um, we started out this morning with about 260 companies reporting earnings today and those are coming in fast and furious this morning um, and we'll be moving the market around a little bit. But notice we have just a massive number, uh, over 800 companies yet to report this week. So stay on your toes. There's going to be reason to, um, to uh, be a little bit, uh, uh, well, there will be a reason for uh, an extra dose of volatility, a lot of movement moving around um, with all of those reports coming out. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I wish I could tell you that, hey, I'm all bullish, I'm all bearish. But I got to tell you, um, as it stands right now, I'm uh, we're certainly trending down. We're, we're trending bearish in, in the market. But we have such big reports coming out, that is possible. Those could reverse. It's also possible that with those reports that, 
we confirm this down direction. So we're kind of setting on the middle of a fence right here, waiting for um, good or bad news, not sure which. So I, I highly recommend just being careful today. We could see an awful lot, like I, like I mentioned before, an awful lot of chop. So I, I want to wish you great success today. And if this is the first time you have seen this information, the reason I do this is this is part of my preparation every day. I try to look at the markets without a bias first thing during the day to get a real clear picture of what's going on and gives me an idea how to approach the market for, for the day. If you find that helpful, please do me a favor. Click on that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me buttons on Facebook. Book. Click those thumbs up buttons, drop a comment. I really do appreciate that. Um, you guys have been very, very kind. Um, thank you for that. Also, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family that you might think um, this could be helpful for. Everyone, take care. Have a great day. I wish you great profits. We'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early Wednesday morning, which could be a wild one. Take care. <music>